Hey everybody, me Bryson Booker. Again, I got another review for you. I'm back in the same room where I did my lab tech review. Okay, let me just tell you where I am. Um, I am at my after school pro, no, summer reading program. I'm a volunteer, and I got a little free time on my hands, so that's how, how I was able to make uh, that lab tech computer speakers demo. And then, that, I cannot talk, I was just exercising. Anyway, I'm here to show you this other thing I wanted to review. I've been wanting to do this review for a long time. And you guys know, you guys know that when I've been hounding to do a review a long time, and I finally have it to do it, I get all excited. So excuse my stuttering. But as you can see here, this is a 1996 and or 1997 P PV KBA 30. Keyboard acoustic amplifier. And for that matter, bass amplifier. Released by PV, well, the KB series started back in the 80s. But when they started incorporating acoustics, acoustic guitar with it, it was around the mid 90s when PV developed the silver lining for all of their amplifiers, most of their amplifiers. So this was released around 1996 or 1997. Let's take a look at the controls. Okay, so right here, there's three channels, and this can be either a PA system, a keyboard monitor, a, a, a acoustic guitar amp, or both, or all three, a keyboard, acoustic, and PA speaker, all three, and all three do work simultaneously on this system, and it sounds excellent. You got the mic or keyboard input. So this is a quarter inch in the middle and an XLR. So you can either plug an XLR cable or a regular qu standard quarter inch cable from your keyboard or microphone into channel one. And then you got the level here and then high and low EQ controls. Channel two is meant for your keyboard or acoustic guitar or once again a microphone. And you have the gain, that button here, all of this does, it's not distortion, of course you don't want distortion in your acoustic guitar, um, but it, it kind of kind of brings out, it kind of just gives you that boost. If your acoustic isn't loud enough, press that button in, it'll give you a boost. For example, if you're doing a solo, keyboard solo, you need some more keyboard in your solo, press the game button. That's what that's for. Level controls, high and low. Channel 3 is meant for the keyboard or it can be for the acoustic or it can be a microphone it's up to you this amp is so flexible it's it's just ridiculous it's so flexible anyway you got your input level high low and then finally your headphone jack that's it that's all there is to it and like i said before this amplifier is extremely flexible you can use almost anything with a PV keyboard amplifier. I can't, I, I don't really, I, I don't know, well any keyboard amplifier. A keyboard amplifier will do anything you want it to do. But for PV, if you want quality sound, and that's another thing that I talk about, the speaker here. I love the speaker. It is like, I think it's like a, a 12, 12, I think it's a 12. It looks like a 12. 12 inch woofer right there. And in the middle here, it's like your high mid-tone cone right here so if you want bass bass comes out of this thing heavily it is ba it's, a, it's a bassy system but maintaining that highs all that nice sprinkly highs that you love in keyboard and acoustic it sounds great I love it now let's look on the back there's one thing on the back Okay, this is the back. Here's one thing I love. You can input a monitor. Okay, so let's say and musicians today, they want stuff that, like this, but you don't get it in too many products nowadays. 
But let's say the drummer wants to hear the keyboardist, and he can't hear it because of the house system, or some engineer is ignoring his request to put more keyboard in the monitors. Well, you can come out of here and run a monitor. I think it has to be powered. I, I never really tried this. Um, I think you can just go from another speaker directly from this keyboard, or maybe it has to be a powered monitor, or maybe you can hook it up to an amp, another amp to go to the main house system. But anyway, a speaker can go from here, and then you can control the level of the monitor. So if your drummer is like really crazy about hearing you, you can turn it all the way up, or you can have it 12 o'clock so it's, it's nice and loud, or you can just have a little bit. It's that easy. I love it. And then here, you can input and send effects. So like uh, PV, Roland, they make effects processors. Well, PV used to make a lot of effects processors for their keyboards. And so you can input chorus or flasier, flanger. If your keyboard is not already equipped with these specs, you can put them in this amplifier and run them from the amp. And then you got the power button and the power cable. And that's it. Like I said, I love this amplifier because it's so flexible. Any a keyboard amplifier, like I said, will do anything you want it to do. You want it to do, be your drum monitor? It can be your drum monitor if you want to put electric drums in it. It will work perfectly. There's enough bass, there's enough highs, you'll love it. If you want it to be a guitar amplifier, plug the guitar right in. Then your bass player can go in channel 3, microphone in channel 1. It's so flexible and it sounds great. It, no distortion. None. So just to prove to you that this thing works, I got a little microphone, cheap karaoke mic, that I'll plug in here. Now channel one, there's kind of a problem with it, the quarter inch in here. That's my only downside. There's, the, it kind of wiggles, so I might have to wiggle it a little bit for it to work, but let's see what we get. Turn it on. Comes right on. Yo, yo. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> Yeah, sounds pretty good. See, there's a there's a nice amount of bass in my voice. It's not too bassy, but I can turn the bass all the way down. But that clarity is there. Can you hear that clarity? And that bass. So you can run a bass guitar through this thing, and it will sound excellent. Turn the highs up. Those are really high highs there. <laughs> Let's go to the second channel. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Now, this is channel two. 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 And I'll try the gain button for you. So, see, here's without the gain. So, this is my voice without gain. And let's add it. <laughs> that was really loud. And that's because, well, I'm too close to the amplifier. But if I was far back, or if I had an acoustic guitar, um, it would bring out that acoustic more. Channel 3 is the last channel. Yo, channel 3. Channel 3. Channel 3. Channel 3. Really sounds great. I love it. And that's it. This amp is all you need. I mean, you can do anything with this thing, and it sounds so good. Like I said, I really couldn't show the gain. I got feedback because I was too close. But it, it, it's, it sounds so good. I love this amp. 1996, you can still find these anywhere. I, I mean, these PVs are still around. I like this generation of PVs right here and the generations before it. But this, is, this has to be my all-time favorite, the Silver Face and the Silver Bottom series. Anyway, a 1996, 1997 PV KBA 30. Awesome, powerful, reliable, versatile keyboard system. And anything system. So thanks for watching this review.